As of Monday, the National Centers for Disease Control reported 15,403 cases of AIDS in this country. There have been 7,827 deaths from the disease. As of tonight, what does medicine know about AIDS, about its threat to the heterosexual community, about its likely growth? In the first of two reports, Susan Spencer explains why the answers to those questions are tentative and troubling. Much of what we know about AIDS today is due to people like John Berliner. He is one of 500 homosexual men in San Francisco who happened to give blood for hepatitis testing in the 70s. Blood samples that are a gold mine today for researchers trying to stalk this new killer, to understand who gets AIDS and why. It is of more than academic interest to John Berliner, who tests positive for the virus. You know, you always wonder, well, is it going to happen to me? Am I going to get AIDS? Estimates of the number of Americans infected right now run as high as 2 million. How many of them ultimately will get sick? Guesses run from 10 to 50 percent. The virus's true incubation time is still one of its best kept secrets. What will happen in another 5, 10, or 20 years is totally unknown. There may be uh, uh, a highly susceptible population uh, which gets full-blown AIDS. Uh, and then other individuals carry the virus for longer periods of time before they manifest disease. That could be the reason why nationally the epidemic has slowed down somewhat. It used to take only five months for the number of new AIDS cases to double. It now takes 13. And in San Francisco, the new case rate actually has stayed the same for the last year, due in large part to changes in sexual behavior among gays. I think there is some, some optimism that the, that the disease has, that there is some end in sight for the, for the continued increase. The good news that AIDS may be leveling off in the gay community is tempered for some by a new fear, <laughs> that this virus could spread to straight America. The specter is Africa, where almost as many women as men have the disease, where AIDS seems to be a heterosexual problem. That is not the case in this country, where heterosexual cases have held at about 1% of the total since the epidemic began, only 156 cases so far. Uh, my guess would be that it won't increase dramatically and involve very, very large numbers of the population, but I think there will be a steady and substantial increase. As for the fear that prostitutes will dramatically speed that up, of all the heterosexual cases, only 18 involve women giving AIDS to men. Female transmission appears rare. Straight America, many think, should be more worried about AIDS from another source. Heterosexually, we're talking more about a drug use related disease. The vast majority of heterosexual cases came via the drug use route. And in trying to quell panic over AIDS, the experts always stress what's been said so often, that it is clearly not spread through casual contact, that behavior has everything to do with it. I think we can tell heterosexuals right now that if they do have sex with a risk group member, if they have sex with a bisexual man, with an intravenous drug abuser, that they are running some risk of contracting AIDS. You have to go out and get AIDS. Uh, it doesn't come and get you. But for those who already have AIDS, what hope is there now? A look in tomorrow's report. Susan Spencer, CBS News, San Francisco.